guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys this makeup look. I really wanted to do a fall inspired makeup look today because fall is just one of my favorite seasons ever. I love the hoodie weather and the blanket time. I'm just obsessed with fall. So since I am in the fall mood, I want to do a makeup tutorial for you guys and I decided to use this palette. This is the fairly new Anastasia Beverly Hills in Jackie Ina palette. And this is what the inside looks like. It is so gorgeous. I've been really loving this palette. I used it three times now. And I just got it on the Sephora Rouge sale, which I already posted on my channel, but you guys should go check that out. But since I've been so in love with this palette, and it like screams fall, so I really wanted to do a fall makeup look using this palette for you guys. So I hope you guys really enjoy this tutorial. And I have some newer products that I just purchased, so I haven't used them yet. So some of the products will be first impressions, about two or three products I have used before. But I really wanted to test out some new makeup for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and if you want to see how I get this fall-inspired makeup look, just keep watching. Alright, so like always, I'm going to start off with my eyes, and I'm going to be using the Jessie's Girl Eyeshadow Primer and the Wen Wild Single Shadow in Brulee. Alright, so today I kind of want to go for a fall look, if you didn't get that already from my board. So today I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Jackie Ina palette. My friend had to teach me to say her name, Jackie Ina. I got it. But this is what the inside of it looks like and I think it is so stunning. Especially for fall, like look at those colors. They are so beautiful and different for ABH. I used this palette twice so it's not a first impression but I really wanted to use this for you guys because it is like popular at the moment and I think it is just a really good fall palette. So the first shade I want to take is the shade Ginger and it is kind of like a tannish orange color and I'm going to be using that as my transition shade. This palette is also really pigmented too. I think that it just built up like nothing and I am like tapping off my brush first and then applying it to my lid and it is just like BAM pigment. It is so good and it still blends out really easily as well. But I honestly think that ABH just steps up their quality in eyeshadows every time they release a palette. I've just been so impressed with this eyeshadow palette. There is so many different eyeshadow palettes releasing at the moment. I'm getting a little overwhelmed, but I'm doing my best to purchase all the ones that I can and I have a lot of exciting videos coming soon. I cannot wait to film them for you, like more tutorials and just more makeup hauls. But a lot of things are getting released for like the holidays and stuff like that. September is my birthday month and I feel like all the holiday makeup gets released in September and it's like, yes, I can like spoil myself even more since it's September, it's my birthday month. Um, I don't just celebrate my birthday. It is my birthday month and I celebrate it all month long. This is like a very dark transition shade. I need to stop. <laughs> But I just love playing with eyeshadows. Eyeshadows are my favorite. The next shade I'm going to go into is Edges. And it's kind of like a brick red almost. It looks really cool. But I'm going to apply this to my outer V. And kind of into my crease. Oh yes, I love that. Jackie Ina did a great job on these shades. I think they are seriously so different for ABH. I feel like almost ABH palettes have become like redundant and I just feel like this is the first ABH palette that is actually different. Along with the Alyssa Edwards palette, I need to play with that one on my YouTube channel as well. I've never used it yet and I need to. That one is filled with a bunch of like vibrant colors like pinks, 
purples and stuff like that. It looks really fun, but I was just like, I'm feeling the fall mood right now. And this one is like so fally, so I had to use it. I'm going back into the shade Ginger, and I'm just going to blend out those edges. We don't want any harsh lines. Also, tell me guys if you like my board because I have been doing a different quote for every single video and I just think it is so much fun. I actually got that idea from Kathleen Light, so I'm not taking credit for it. I will say she did it first. I just thought it was the cutest idea ever. I had this board from Matt and I's wedding and I'm like, okay, what am I gonna do with it? Because it was so cute, I didn't want to erase it, but at the same time, I'm like, kind of just taking up space, it doesn't really like, need to say our wedding information on it anymore, so I'm like, what could I do with it? And my sister is like, well, you could put your schedule on it, or you could put like, events coming up on it, and I'm like, no, that sounds like too much adulting for me. So, I decided to put quilts on it, and I think it is so cute. But anyways, tell me if you guys like it. I mean, I'm going to continue to do it anyways because I enjoy it, but hopefully you guys like it as well. By the way, these shades have just as much kick up as like all the other ABH palettes. I mean, it doesn't bother me, but I just want to tell you guys in case like that kind of thing bothered you. I don't see like any fallout or anything, but it just has like a lot of kick up in the pans. So debating on what shimmer shade to go into, I really want to use Sponsored, but I really feel like Dwalas, that's so cute, Dwalas or Zam is like the best shade for this makeup look. Mm, I can't decide, would Sponsored go good with this? Maybe I'll just use Dwalas because to me like gold is very fall inspired so I'm gonna put that all over my lid. I always wet my brush first because that's just how I apply my shimmer shades and I'm gonna go right into that color and apply it all over the lid. Wow! That is so pretty. I'm just gonna intensify it with my finger. Cause sometimes your finger is like the best tool. Oh yes, look at that. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. Now I'm gonna take Credit. This is a brown, but I feel like it kind of has a purple undertone to it. So I'm gonna actually apply this to my lash line. It's kind of my eyeliner. By the way, if you suck at eyeliner because I'm not the best at it, this is just a really easy way to get that liner effect without having to use like liquid liner. And then I winged it out. So it's not like an intimidating wing, but it's definitely like there. You even can like smudge it out even more. Alright, so I am done for the eyes for now, so now I'm going to go on to primer, and this is a first impression product. It's the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Primer. I just hauled this in my Sephora VIB Rouge haul. If you haven't checked that out, make sure to check that out. But I have not ever used this, and it really just intrigued me because Brianna Fox talked about it. She has oily skin, and she's like, it's hydrating, but it leaves like a tacky consistency. And that just made me kind of interested in it. So I'm going to be trying it out today. It is a pink color, which is really pretty. I probably took way too much, but whatever. <laughs> As long as this doesn't make me look even more oily, I'm okay with it. It is a slight tacky consistency. I like that. So the choice of foundation today is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I have actually been really enjoying this foundation lately. It's to me more of a satin finish, especially if you use it with a sponge. But I'm interested to see how like dewy it's going to make me now just because of this primer. But it's also the same shade as my body because I am tanning at the moment. So that's also why I've been grabbing it for this one a lot too because this one doesn't match me for like 50% of the year. 
but it does now, so that's why I've been using it. I think applying foundation and maybe concealer is like my favorite part of makeup. But also eyeshadow because it's just like fun to play with colors and you can always do something different. But foundation and concealer definitely because it just covers up my nasty looking skin. No, it's not nasty. It just hides my pores, hides my redness. So I do actually have a first impression concealer. I just ordered these online. It is the Juvia's Place Concealers and I got it in two different shades. I don't even know if you can tell. This one's darker and this one's lighter. But this one is in the shade 23 and this one's in the shade 24. I'm going to use the darker shade just because I am tan at the moment, but look how like thick and big <laughs> ah, this bottle is. I don't know why, but like if a concealer comes like this, I'm like so interested in it because it's like, wow, you get like so much product for your money. This and like the Too Faced Born This Way concealer is like a huge bottle as well. So that's kind of why I purchased this, but I'm kind of interested in seeing like how the formula is and how it applies and stays on my skin. Because you guys all know, I've been obsessed with concealer. And I first blend it out with a brush. And then I go in with my beauty blender and blend out the rest away. Just so there's no brush strokes or anything like that. It's still like way too light for me, but I'll make it work with bronzer. And I always do one eye at a time now because I've been testing out some concealers and some of them dry so quickly. This one doesn't seem to be one of them. I feel like this one is very creamy and it's very blendable. And I kind of just dab the excess concealer in the middle of my forehead, down my nose, above my cupid's bow, and on my chin. Just because those are the areas that you really want to pull forward and bring light to. But so far, this concealer is bomb. I don't know how it wears throughout the day, but I like how that really applied. I don't have a new setting powder, but I'm going to be using the Milani Translucent Light Medium Setting Powder. I'm kind of just trying to get rid of this powder. It's not like one of my favorites, but I don't want to waste it, so I'm just trying to use it up. I do have a new contour. This is the Sephora Bronzing Face Powder in the shade Los Cabos. And I just purchased this like two months ago and I never used it yet. And I asked the Sephora employee, do you have any like good contours? And she's like, yeah, have you tried the Sephora brand? I'm like, no. And she's like, I swear, like Sephora really like up their quality. They are so pigmented. They are so good. So I'm like, okay, I'll try it. I was looking at the Marc Jacobs contour, but if you want me to buy something cheaper, then... I guess that's fine. So I'm going to be using this one today. And by the way, I did buy the Marc Jacobs contour bronzer as well. It's in a white packaging. It's more of a contour to me anyways, but I also bought that one. But I really want to try out this one. Cause she like really gave it high hopes. I actually swatched quite a few Sephora brand items and I was pleasantly surprised. Like they really did up their quality. Like their liquid lipsticks, they're only like $8 and they are really good. I swatched them on the back of my hand and they like would not come off. So that means the lasting power on them is amazing. So I need to go pick up some of those and also they have like blush palettes and bronzer palette and I think a highlighting palette and it really did look promising. Mmm, I really like that. So now for our new bronzer, I also had this for a couple months and I never used it. This is the e.l.f. 
Prime bronzer, I think. It doesn't necessarily say the name on it, but it's in the shade Forever Sun Kissed. And I'm going to be using that as my bronzer today. Alright, now for blush, I want to use this What's Your Favorite Position? And it says CEO, yada yada yada. This is by Lily Lashes in the Sephora Collection. This to me reminds me of the Smashbox Contour Kit. I thought the blushes looked really pretty, so I kind of want to mix them. I don't even know how pigmented this is because I never used this yet. So I really want to use it on camera for you guys to see how well the quality was. Pretty pigmented. I really like that. That's like just a slight flush to my cheekbones. And then in a boxy charm, we got the Laura Geller Bait Gelato 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 Swirl Illuminator in Ballerina. That looks so pretty. So I'm gonna be using that today because I did kind of want like a goldeny highlight today because to me just Fall is all about gold. Can you guys see that? This is like a really, really subtle highlight. I had to add a few layers just to try and see this. I mean, I like it, but mm, it's not one of my favorite highlights. Alright, to finish off my eyes, I'm going into the shade Edges right here, this brick red. And going to apply this all along my lower lash line. I'm going back into Ginger then. I'm taking my fluffy brush and I'm going to blend that out. I think I'm going to go into... Soleil, I think that's what this one is called, and put that on my inner corners and my brow bone. Alright, now to finish up the eyes, I'm going to be using this mascara, so no, it is nothing new. It's the Lancome Monster Big Mascara, so I'm going to apply my mascara and I will be right back. Alright, and to finish off my lips, I used the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in What's Your Sign. This is what it looks like. It is by Kathleen Lights. It is so beautiful, so neutral. But I really think it's a beautiful fall neutral color. Alright, and there you have it. This is my makeup look for today. Using some first impression new products and using some old products like these. This isn't necessarily new because I used it like three times now. But I really wanted to do a tutorial over it for you guys because I've been obsessed with it and it's so beautiful. I don't think I had like any bad products maybe except for like this Laura Geller highlight in Ballerina I wasn't like too thrilled with it like it's definitely not like a pop-in highlight it's one of those more natural like you have to build up highlights I just like my pop-in highlights right now so this one wasn't like that great to me the bronzers and contours were so good I loved both of these the concealer I'm obsessed with the concealer so far. It didn't crease under my eyes and it just looks like really flawless. I love how creamy the formula is also and it blended out amazing. And the Fenty Beauty Primer, of course I have to like wait and see like how long my makeup lasts but I really did think my skin felt a little bit more hydrating and it did have like that tacky consistency that I was so excited about. So, so far so good on this product. I really liked how my blush turned out today, so I can't argue with this product. So that completes this video over using this palette for a fall makeup look and just some first impressions over some newer products for me. 
But I hope you guys all really enjoyed this kind of talk through tutorial. I really like how my eye makeup turned out. It just looks so fall, so fun. I'm in it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for me down below. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!